ash when Bowdy Bowdy came. And I yeah. remember the first time Sansi Murder coming in the project and he taking off his shirt and everybody like, who that is? And he got the true tag. True, because that TRU was big right. at that time. It was real big. Started off as a street thug. Just hanging and thug. Hit it down and went to jail for drugging the muck and popping, please. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. You coming up early seeing that No Limit movement, man, like you was a part of that, right? Yeah. So like like to see that happen right right in the projects where you guys are from, mm -hmm. how big was that? Man, it was big. Cause I remember the first time I seen, like Master P used to come in a project in a Levan called the Ice Cream Man. And he used to just go play basketball in the gym. And we didn't know how big it was going to be at that point. Then P just left, and when he come back with that, I'm about it, about it. It's 1990. It was different. Whoa, so you, wait a minute, because that was a whole big dilemma about P stealing uh, that whole ice cream man thing from them boys on, uh, up there in California. But you telling me before Body Body, he was dealing with ice cream trucks? Yeah, those? no, he had an ice cream man truck. The truck Are stayed the ice cream man. So but this was before he even was really just tied in up there. What year was that? That was early on. No, P was already in California. Okay. But okay. he used to come down and he'd be in this ice cream man truck and he'd come in a project, play basketball and by everything. That, right? If that was body body early, that had to be early before that whole movement of that because they had two ice cream man songs up there. Oh word. I yeah, you didn't know that. But no. I've been watching, I'll be listening. And they they were trying to say like P kind of hijack jack what they had going, but early as you talking about that would be way too early. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, sure. I'm, I'm just had that because when Bowdy Bowdy it. It came, it was different. Like the project was on smash when Bowdy Bowdy came, and I yeah. remember the first time since he murdered coming in the project and he taking off his shirt, and everybody like, who that is? And he got the true tag. True, because that TRU was mm -hmm. big right. at that time. It was real big. Started off as a street thug, just hanging and thug, hit it down and went to jail for drugging the muck and popping, please. Right, the TRU thing seemed. I knew more about that. It was running neck the no limit thing that this these were two different scenarios, right? Nah, it really was the same it thing. It was the same, but they pushed they was pushing one seemed like earlier than the other more. Yeah, it was um first it was like it was Pete, but when he did his brothers T R U. That was T R U. Yeah. So him, Silk and C was T R U. Dang, that's crazy. So and, and and did you think what did you feel like it this serious and it's some, gonna be some money, some changes in what about they were time about it, about it came, it was on fire from them. Like mm -hmm. about it, about it, the movie it just took off from them. Damn, that was early on to be doing an independent film too. So that's crazy, man. And that's like, still the number one independent film in the streets is about it, about it. Mm -hmm. Was Calio really like you know like the way that people were pushing it and saying the the the, 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 the like the grind you know the it the, wasn't no script. It was just, as he just pulled up in the project on a regular date. So everything that transpired in the project for Bowdy Bowdy, that was exactly how the Calio is. You got like hundreds of people outside all day, 24 hours a day. By the time, you just say three o'clock in the morning, you might got a hundred people in the cold way. Wow. Like, and you, you, don't so you, can do, you can do something. Dang, that, you know, cause you go from every hood. You, I mean, in Atlanta, it's born homes. And, right. and you know, uh, you got Calio. Y'all got some more projects down there too. I'm pretty sure y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. got, you know, you got Uptown. You got all type of different stuff going on over there. Right. Like, like man, like, but then I always run to the hood. She know how I am. Even in Chicago, they standing outside the stoves, man. Like, right. wherever I go, wherever it is, in L.A., I went to watch. I get my hair cut. Yeah, I always said, I'm Let's trying go to go to my people, bro. Like, right, right, right. I, like, man, y'all better be careful. Like, but these, these people, these are our people, mm -hmm. bro. Right, facts. Like, and I think people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's crazy that right, people right. be thinking like that, bro. Right. But in the streets, we know how each other move. Like, yeah. man, we, we, it's a sign of respect the way you walk when you're in the hood. Like, you ain't got to right. worry about offending somebody else. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But it's different because then um, I remember when we went, to Chicago, although we drove down there because he wanted to stop and go check out some of the stores and stuff yeah, like that. But, but it was because too, it I was, was with him, he started thinking like, nah, let's let us let us keep nah, going." Because you got like 25, 30 niggas standing in front of the store. I don't have no heat. We in a brand new. We in something nice, right? And I ain't got nothing to, in case if I have to defend right, myself, right, right, right? So it's like, nah, not this one. So I went to the west side. Right. Then we went to the north side, which so you is gotta really be smart. Nice. You gotta be but smart. But what is what it is. When this was. 
Uh, this this was, was probably five years ago, six years ago. Maybe five years ago. We've right, been back right, since streets changed now. Yeah, yeah. Like, we talking about now the new streets. This no. shit different now. Yeah. Way different. It's different. It ain't no respect out here. No, no. at all. And, and I just, you know, you really want to know, like when I went back when we were Larry Hoover Jr. and all them boys, it was different. You know what I'm saying? You you knew that they knew how they was moving in their city. Right, right. That's what the check in thing be about. <laughs> People really get offended by it, but really it's like. It's the way you look at it. It's like if I'm a, if you come in and rock out with me, right. you know I'm not I'm I'm for the rock with you. You know we good because we rocking together. Right. But if I'm rocking with just 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 checking in with somebody I don't know, that that's different. It right. could be exploitation. But right, you know right, how you right. said how you said you know things yeah, are you different. Let it get like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they see what they're dealing with, they're gonna see how to approach you. Cause mm -hmm. you can check in like just on some man, like you need something, I got you, you know what I'm saying? I let my people know you out here, cause you know everybody be connecting when they're in the city. I know the rivals, I know this, I know this. People come in, they see shit. You know what I'm saying? They got all that. Like, no, nah, I got my people out here. That's but real. But you know how you say That's things real. are different nowadays because they have no respect and stuff like that. But like how you was talking about earlier. It's a different generation, but the younger kids, it's normal to them mm -hmm. compared to we're older. We know certain things have how it used to be. So now we're looking like, nah, it ain't like how it used to be. Y'all ain't got no respect. This, 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 this. Right, because right. I think the respect wasn't enforced. It like you took a lot of street cats all around the world off mm -hmm. the streets. And these kids grew up with no fathers, mm -hmm. and they grew up without the top man in charge right. that make you show respect. Like, when right. I was young, it was people that enforced respect. Mm -hmm. right. Like, if you ain't going to be out here cursing around these old folks, they're going to beat your ass up. Right. That's like, real. You right, got to right. get from around here. You see an old lady, you're going to help her with her groceries. You need help, hold a dough for a woman. Right. Like, the thing so they ain't got you, a lot of OGs no more. No. Yeah, but they got locked up. That's what I'm saying. Right. They ain't get killed. The old, the true OGs got locked up, and that's locked the ones up. who just couldn't leave the streets alone right. and go take fifty. Like, look at me. Well, I feel like honestly, that's 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 triple OGs, cause like this generation, we the OGs now. Yeah, <laughs> OGs are younger nowadays. Like they was young when we were looking up. They they were like our age. You know what I'm saying? Like we just getting older. So you know what I'm saying? But it's like what I feel like a lot of like I, I, a lot of the kids that's like in that generation that's messed up right now because it wasn't no guidance, it wasn't no OG. We had somebody we knew. Who who was who, and they, everybody had respect. Even the killers, like y'all, watch out. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like everybody just feel I got a gun. I'm a gangster. I shoot some. I'm a gangster. Like them dudes, like more worrying about how we, we gotta get away. We gotta get. You know what I'm saying? Not getting caught. They just doing stupid shit. And like what I say about a lot of people in the world, like the generation, like like we couldn't get hold of Katrina happened. So everybody all over the place. And then a lot of them. A lot of people knew us for, oh, they kill us, they kill us, they kill us. Everybody, everybody in New Orleans ain't no killer. You know no, what I'm I, saying? I feel what you're saying. So they, 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 they brainwash themselves to be a gangster. Like, oh, you from New Orleans, oh, you a killer. So they, they pretending. So all the scary mm -hmm. niggas. You yeah, said. so they all pretending the so ones, much they, that they, they're a killer. Now I got a gun, now, now, now I'm a killer. So now they going, now there ain't no structure, there ain't no rule. They just pop shooting. They just shooting shit because they know, they ain't worrying about, oh, I'm going to catch this when, when, when the time right. They just like, they just going with the move. Everybody getting caught. Everybody doing this. Innocent people getting hit because it wasn't. They ain't, they ain't have nobody to listen to. Not not all these little kids coming out with this straight kill them song, shoot them up. We yeah, it's with all this. in the music. And too. they growing up off that. That's what they feel. That was that's that's how we grew up off music. Mm -hmm. Or how I, this I, I need but we've seen consequences for our actions. Like, yeah, they rat but they and still come doing right it. back home. They yeah. rat and come home and kill some more. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.